Hi Survivor Gods, I'm Francesca, I am 28 years old, I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I am the next winner of Survivor. I think the best way to explain my life is that I live in duality. By day, I work for one of the most popular universities in Toronto, I work in the Career Center helping students find potential career path. By night, I am an artist, podcast host, YouTuber, TikToker, and just overall creative. I am from a predominantly Italian community. I also have have a little bit of a unique life story. I have grown up in an entirely female household, so it's safe to say I've had my share of conflicts and hair pulling. My family pretty much satisfies every single Italian stereotype possible. We're super loud, we all talk over each other, you cannot get a single thought across or really hear what anyone's ever saying, and we like to eat, and I mean eat. I think I would be a great survivor player because I'm very inquisitive. I think that's something that I've always- <laughs> I think that's something that's always been in my nature. I love to learn about people and know about the world around me and how people's lives differ from mine. I think that's pretty much the key ingredient for a survivor player because I'm always the one acquiring the information and I'm never the one to be given it out. I also think it's super easy for me to make friends and meet new people and get them on my side. I'm a little bit newer to the city. I moved out here about two years ago. This was something that I had to do very quickly. Again, I'm from a predominantly Italian neighborhood where I was very comfortable with people around me and so moving to a place like Toronto um, and putting myself out there and meeting a whole variety of new people was something that really helped me acquire those skills. I have traveled to 32 countries in the past six or seven years. I feel like that in itself just kind of displays my constant need for new experiences and meeting people and putting myself in scenarios where I'm not comfortable. If you want a specific story, when I was about 22, I backpacked through Europe and I attended the oldest theme park in the world. And this was towards maybe like the middle of my trip. And I was on a ride and the ride slammed down on my foot and my entire foot was black and blue. Instead of going home or going to the hospital, I didn't want to miss out on the trip that I was on. I just drag drug is it drag or drug i dragged my foot through the rest of europe for the next week and a half i am not a quitter by any means during my travels i've done pretty much everything under the sun when i was in asia i ate bugs i slept in villages with no running water bathed in swamp like bodies of water. And this just goes back to that duality that I spoke of before. I like to get dolled up and put on makeup and dress up, but I wasn't raised with a lot. I would consider myself a Survivor super fan. I started watching during the pandemic and once I start something, I do not stop. Every single time I watch, I'm constantly trying to come up with new ways that I would play the game or ways that I would tackle different scenarios you throw at the contestants. So being on Survivor is my ultimate dream. I feel like I've tackled a lot of things on my bucket list and this is the only one where it's like, I will not stop until I get on the show. This is my third audition. So I'm hoping this is the year, hoping this is the one. So thank you for watching this audition tape. I am begging you, I will get on my knees if I have to. Please, please, please choose me. And if you don't, I will see you next year, same place, same time.